today I want to show you how to train or direct your climbing beans. If you are new here, you're welcome to join this plant loving community. Consider watching other episodes to learn other tips on how to grow affordable food at home. Let's get in. Sorry friends, after six years of study in natural resources management and environmental law, I fell deeply, madly in love with plants. Look at this beauty. Friends, I'd like to give you a quick tour. So look at this. It's been three weeks. So we are at this stage. And I want to point out some things to you. You'll notice some leaves have been chewed. <laughs> Look at the size of the leaves. These are super giant climbing beans. Look at my hand. And yeah, look at the size. So I watched the video on super giant climbing beans to understand how I created this bed. This is a late karma. <laughs> Some people start late but they will catch up with time. So if you have late karmas, <laughs> don't worry. So I used a lot of compost to supply the nutrients. These beans are heavy feeders. So they definitely need a lot of uh, phosphorus and potassium. So make sure you supply those nutrients. My compost is rich and it has a well matured manure. So that's why you see my leaves are looking nice and healthy apart from the birds that came and messed. Chewing off and biting off sections of my leaves. Look, this is not even a, a small insect that is doing this. This must just be a bird that is just Oh no! Try your best to stay away from high nitrogen fertilizers because if you give them too much nitrogen fertilizers you will stimulate a lot of foliage but then you will delay pod setting the pod the pods will not grow well, they will not develop well so plenty of uh, phosphorus and potassium the area you select to plant your climbing beans must receive full sun and uh, your soil pH should be close to neutral. Okay, about 6.5 to 7.5. So by placing banana peels just around the plant like this, I want to at least deter some white flies. You can even use uh, orange peels. You just place them around the plant like this. So you eat your bananas and you bring the peels here if you're not taking them to the compost or if you're not making fertilizer for your cucumber plants. This is taking. We just uh, put
put a stick 30 centimeters deep just make it uh, stable and strong enough next to your plants and then it will find its own way to these supports so there's a debate whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise <laughs> so it's going like this another method is using a tipi just putting a lot of stakes in a round shape about two meters high but I don't want to use that method because for these beans they can go up to four meters high and uh, the method I want to use it's easier for me to harvest the pods once they're ready instead of using a tipi or an A-shaped structure so the third method is uh, trellising and here I have a uh, what I want to use to create the trellis for all my bean plants. I use this to train my tomato plants in the last season. I'll post a photo somewhere. I try my best to share tips on how to grow affordable food at home and you just use the resources you have at home. So maybe you've noticed I have these stones at several points. They are not there mistakenly, I've placed them there because I want to show you what you can use if you don't have such, such sticks this in fact is from an old mop <laughs> so you can use anything you have so the next step is to just attach some binding wire so i want to get closer here so that you can see this i think is a this this must be a jacaranda i did a video on a, a mini garden tour to explain the different trees i have so watch the video, I'll do another full tour later. So I, I use the binding wire, this is a binding wire, this. So this binding wire runs from this side all the way to the end. And I have three of them, there's this one. This is the second one and the third one. So it will almost come close to the these are our cucumber, but they're doing so well. Watch the video on how to plant cucumber at home. So this is my calculation. From down here to here is about a meter, and you're expecting four meters. So if it goes up here, that will be the second one. So my plan is for my climbing beans to come and form a shed here. So they will grow from down there, come up and then at an angle come to this point here. And on this here, down here, I'll put some potted uh, vegetables like lettuce that need some shade. Because those ones you can grow them in partial shade and they will grow well. So in the comment section, please tell me your thoughts about how I'm planning this. And definitely I'm going to post more updates, so keep it here. It's going to tie around. A knot. So I've tied around there. Then you come to the plant. So you just go around, down here. Hope you can see. So down here, I'm going to bring you closer again, down here, go around like that. Down here, just under the leaves. Then I'm coming up here. See? As long as the string passes underneath the stone, it is fine. And it will not move. That's good enough. Then you bring it to the plant. I'm trying to focus, okay. So you see, 
I haven't done so many rounds to chalk the plant. Don't do that because if you do that to any plant you're trying to support, you're going to chalk the plant. So just from this leaf here, now to this, see? So it's going to continue winding itself along this. And I've tied this at the top where I have the binding wire. Up here, I've just made a knot that I can easily undo later. Okay, so look at my DIY. <laughs> My DIY stick and trellis, so it comes from down there. You see the 90 degree angle, that's the first level. So it's going to turn from there to the second level here and now here to the third. The third, where this variegated leaves tree is, So by the time it gets to here, I don't want it to grow anymore. I'll have to just cut the top so that it does not continue growing. And this will be good enough. So let me attach the rest, a close look, so it's not tight. And the stone is close by just to support the string so <laughs> that it does not fly away. <laughs> the wind does not blow it away. <laughs> so, it... Almost done, friends. A paint hat never won a fair lady. <laughs> so, if you are new here, definitely want to see the results the outcome so remember to subscribe we are going to have here a dense green jungle of climbing beans so keep it here if you want to start a container garden or a vegetable garden or even if you live in a in an urban area i share tips on how to grow affordable food if you enjoyed all the instructions definitely give this video a thumbs up that's all for this video friends until next time, bye!